I want to give you now the word that I got at the end of about four and a half years. It was the end of my, when I said it, the Lord, just in my spirit, end of wilderness. No sign of it yet, but right after the word that happened. But this is for all of you. This is for all of you, for what we've been through, but also whatever you're dealing with or whatever you will deal with, or whatever you have dealt with. This is the word I got. And you shall remember all the way which the Lord your God has led you in the wilderness these 40 years, that he might humble you, test you to know what was in your heart, whether you'd keep his word or not. He humbled you, he let you be hungry, he fed you with manna, which you didn't know, nor did your fathers. And he made you understand that man doesn't live by bread, but by everything that comes from the mouth of God. Your clothing did not wear out, nor did your foot swell these 40 years. Thus you are to know in your heart the Lord your God was chasing you as a man does his son. Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord and walk, walk in his ways. For the Lord your God is now bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs flowing with, in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, of olive oil and honey, a land where you will eat food without any shortages, in which you shall not lack anything, a land which, whose stones are iron, out of the hills you'll dig copper. When you've eaten and are satisfied, you shall bless the Lord at your God for the good land he has given you. But be careful that you don't forget the Lord your God. That you don't forget the Lord your God. In other words, who kept you all this time. When you've eaten and are satisfied and have built good houses and lived in them, when your herds and your flocks multiply, your silver and gold multiply, all you have multiplies and your heart becomes proud and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt from slavery. He led you through this great and terrible wilderness. Great and terrible. With its fiery serpents and scorpions, thirsty ground where there was no water, he brought water out of the rock. In the wilderness he fed you manna to do good for you. In the end, the Lord is saying, in the great and fiery wilderness, I never left you. I have never abandoned you. I was with you always. I was with you in the mountains, the Lord says to you, and I was with you in the valleys, in the barren places, in the dry places. I provided for you. I gave you river in your desert. I kept you. I guarded you. I carried you. And my purposes did not stop with you. And my, my leading never stopped. As a shepherd leads his lamb, I tested you that you could be used for greater things. That I used all things for your good to make you the child of God, the vessel and the minister I have created you to become. And now you're coming out of the wilderness I bring you into a good and spacious land. Remember your wilderness days, how I kept you in everything when you had nothing and where all your blessings come from. Fulfill your calling. Enlarge the place of your tent. Be blessed in the land and what I'm bringing you into. For even in the hardest times, even in your hardest times, I have known and never forgotten the plans I have for you. Plans not for calamity, but for shalom, to give you blessing and future and a hope. And a land of promise and a life of blessing that lies just beyond the wilderness. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.